Morgan, guys, and um, this is the second chapter in my Rome series, and uh, as I promised, I will be much more detailed in this video, uh, because I have been a good boy and I've done my research. So, this bill visited uh, tourist de destinations in Rome and uh, my brother went to Rome like a month after and uh, we both said that yeah this was one of the most interesting places to visit uh, mainly because of the built um, it's almost 2,000 years old um, it's pretty insane um, it has a, a hole in the roof that otherwise described well called an oculus It's one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings, um, be mainly because it's been used so much. Um, it has had so many, it has, it has millions of visitors every year. Uh, so yeah, it was commissioned between 27 BC and 14 AD by Marcus Agrippa. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm just trying to find out the best facts. But uh, Pantheon temple of every god, um, which is really nice, actually, because not everyone believes in the same god. Uh, so, yeah, I knew nothing of uh, the history when I went there, because our tour guide was wasn't the best. Uh, he took a lot of shortcuts and stuff, and or the fact that I probably didn't hear him say, I can't rem I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the thing with travel is that you visit places, and then it's your job afterwards to relive them and discover what they. Which is uh, what I'm doing right now. Um, and I have mentioned before that the food in Italy was uh, some of the best that I've tasted. I just love the food so much. And um, the it has a very vibrant atmosphere, um, there's always people ev pretty much everywhere, out all the time, and um, this brings us to the second day where in Rome um, we went to visit 
visit the Vatican. It was a pretty action-packed day, um, as I remember it, and um, we were led up this big big hill, and then we came to the Vatican, and we were, you have to go through metal detectors, and um, it's pretty, pretty incredible. The weather was really nice on this day, and um, it was quite you needed to stay indoors for quite a lot of it because um, yeah you have to be careful of being in the sun too much <laughs> um, so yeah the Vatican City is extremely large <coughs> it's its own country and it is the smallest country just going to read a bit about the Vatican, uh, just to set the, the mood. Um, well, more, more like the, the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is a chapel in the Apo sorry, Apostolic Palace, the official residence of the Pope. The Capella Magna. The chapel takes its name from Pope Sixtus IV, who restored it between 1477 and 1480. Um, today it is, it is the site of the Papal Conclave, the process by which a new Pope is selected. The fame of the Sistine Chapel lies mainly in the frescoes that decorate the interior, and most particularly the Sistine Chapel ceiling, and the Last Judgment by Michelangelo. So once once you get in there, there is so many people um, just lined up looking at the artwork and the sculptures. It is really something. remember is there was one part that you weren't allowed to take photos at all I think that's the main um, the very last section you visit you're not allowed to take photos which is a shame I did see some disrespectful and um, but there's just so much to take in um, every inch of that place is um, intricately designed and decorated the money that they must have is incredible and this, these sculptures are so old, they've been around for hundreds of years, and the height of the ceiling, you, you just have to think, the scaffolding, um, it's pretty crazy. So we keep walking along, and uh, I'm just in awe at how many, how many different sculptures that there are in the place. Um, we were located, we didn't stay in Rome, we, because this was part of uh, Kentucky to a uh, the accommodation is quite cheap, um, which is fine. Uh, it's good for.
for if you want to save money and uh, on spending and stuff. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting tired, which is unusual for me. <clears throat> um, so we stayed in this place called the Seven Hills. park or something, um, and it was located about an hour from Rome, and it's the main, if you use Kentucky and you go through Rome, you'll probably stay at this place, uh, the Seven Hills Camping Ground, it's, it's a pretty, it's one of the better, um, locations that we stayed at. Um, but yeah, just, just going through this place, uh, seeing the work that Michelangelo did, that just the, it, it wasn't only him, but there was other, um, artists and painters. Because Michelangelo was um, more of a sculptor than a painter. And so, I think there's, there's quite, I shot quite a lot of footage. Um, I'm not sure which bit I'm talking about at this moment. Um, but just bear with me. Like, we'll just go through. Just walk through and have a look at everything. Um, I'm not a religious person at all. Uh, I don't believe in a god or anything like that. Um, so you might ask, why? Why did I come to the Vatican? Uh, well, it's one of those things that you just have to do. You have to say. Yes, I've seen this, and um, it was very interesting. Um, just the the scope of that place, and every little detail is incredible. Um, I wasn't too familiar with the meanings behind a lot of these sculptures and uh, paintings because they're they're all telling some kind of story uh, uh, which relates back to uh, the Bible in some way um, you also have these uh, beautiful tapestries um, that line the walls. Which is, 